I said, Lord, I know you will help me. You will see that I don't spend these three years in vain. While she was serving her sentence, Chun Xia couldn't stop worrying about her fiancé, Hai Sheng. I kept sending notes to Hai Sen, telling him not to wait for me. We were not that young anymore. I didn't want him to waste time waiting for me. Three long years. <laughs> Soon after Chun Xia was arrested, Uncle Zhang asked me what I was going to do if Chun Xia had to spend three years in jail. Will my family accept this? Maybe I should consider someone else. I told him, I will wait for her, whether it takes three years or even 20 years. Every month on Visitor's Day, Hai Sheng would travel hundreds of miles by train to visit Chun Xia. Each visit was limited to 20 or 30 minutes. Hai Sheng never missed a visit, and he always brought a letter with him. I wanted her to stop worrying about me. I wanted her to stop telling me not to wait for her. It hurt me. I told her I would still love her and marry her even when she became an old lady with gray hair. <laughs> I've never shown anyone these letters. They gave me great comfort. I didn't feel too bad during the time in jail. I was happy. I told my brothers and sisters in Christ. God answered my prayers. I went through all the hard times with joy. Praise the Lord. Three months before the end of my sentence, I was released. Hai Sen and Uncle Zhang came to pick me up. I thought we both would burst into tears, but we didn't. When we got home, a lot of brothers and sisters were waiting for us. We were very emotional. My family was overjoyed. My mother started to sob. I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I was released on the 29th of April. On the 3rd of May, we were married. The brothers and sisters of our hometown had arranged the wedding ceremony for us. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him. God told me His plan in this verse. Sometimes I wanted to blame God for what we had to go through, but at the same time, a voice within my heart would tell me, Don't complain. God doesn't neglect anyone, anywhere, at any time. During the wedding, everyone kept wiping away their tears. I couldn't stop smiling, though I was crying too. Tears of thankfulness and joy. I knew that God was with me all the time I was in jail. Being forced to delay their wedding only deepened the love between this young couple. Three years in jail strengthened their faith. And despite the three years of torture, their happiness and their gratitude increased.
有什么能和你相比？没有什么能和你相比。Generation after generation, Chinese missionaries have struggled along a path that leads to the cross. The Chinese government refuses to acknowledge them, and China's huge population doesn't understand them. Around every corner, these missionaries encounter suffering and imprisonment. Yet, with no remorse and no regrets, they keep on their difficult path. 从母父生下来那一天嘛，就是。My father passed away when I was born. My mother died when I was only three years old. Before I was eleven, I never had a pair of shoes or anyone to take care of me. It was a very painful life. I couldn't understand why I was born with such a bad fate. Why was I born without parents who cared for me? How come other people had good lives and I didn't? If there was a God, why didn't He help this poor, suffering soul? Finally, one day I was desperate and ready to commit suicide. But I heard a group of people singing. It was a cold, bleak night, and I wondered who on earth would find anything to sing about. So I walked towards the house. Someone saw me and called out, "Isn't that the homeless child that has no family?" They took me inside. My child, believe in Jesus. He is the only one who can save you. They said. Then some elderly ladies taught me how to kneel and pray. They put their hands on my head and prayed for me with tears in their eyes. That night, I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. When the police in Tanghu County found out that there was a 14-year-old boy who had become a Christian, they started searching for me. After hiding in a pit for seven days. I became really hungry and exhausted, so I climbed out of the pit to get a breath of fresh air. Just my luck that a policeman happened to be passing by. He arrested me there and then. You are so young, but already you are an anti-revolutionary, he said. They denounced me, they tortured me, and they starved me. But I thought to myself, Jesus must be the way of truth. Otherwise. Why is the great Communist Party so serious about it? Even a homeless teenager like me is seen as a threat. Jing, the orphan adopted by a Christian, became a missionary when he was 19. At first, I worked as a local missionary. After I got married, I carried my child on my back and started to travel to different provinces to spread the gospel. I built a lot of house churches. I was filled with joy. I paid no attention to the humiliation, the suppression, the poverty, and all the arrests. Lord, take pity on us. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for your love. We thank you for showing us the path which leads away from this imperfect world. We thank you for allowing us to share your burden. Lord, we thank you for watching over your church in China, and for taking pity on your church in China. Although the Chinese church has suffered endless suppression, we see your presence in China. God is in charge here. I was 83 years old when Meng Zhao came. I became a Christian in 1983. And I've been working as a missionary ever since. During that time, I was thrown in jail four times, three of which were in my own hometown, and the other was in Xinjiang County. I was badly beaten up. Sometimes the guards beat me, and sometimes it was the other prisoners. I remember vomiting blood, lots of blood. The three or four of us sat in a circle and passed the bread around. That night we cried for a long time. We missed our families. We missed the Lord. I 
曾经为非的缘故。I was jailed eight times for spreading the gospel. One time, a sister and I were handcuffed together around a pillar outside of the police station. Our feet weren't allowed to touch the ground at the same time. When my feet touched the ground, hers couldn't. When hers did, my couldn't. 他的交界不能挨地，就是这样的。所以呢，一直吊了我们四个小时。We hung like that for four hours until our hands turned black and blue. 嗯，逮捕进入监狱以后，被拷打。They tortured me after I was arrested. They beat my face, and it was severely swollen. My skin was burned by electric prods. The guy hit my head and my body with electric prods. I passed out and couldn't remember what happened later. I was struck by three or four cattle prods at the same time. The guards hit me everywhere and tied me up. It has been three years since that happened, and I still have the rope marks on my body. More than once, while enduring endless torture and extreme hardship, many missionaries raised questions to God. He answered their prayers in various ways, and without exception, all the missionaries found inner peace. I prayed to God to give me the answer, and He said to me, "I can tell you nothing. That's my strongest memory because it was during the darkest hours of my life, and God wouldn't answer me. Later, I said to God, 'Even though you won't give me the answer, I still accept all this with gratitude.' After I did that, my dark spiritual life was completely illuminated and revived." I told the Lord that I was afraid of going back to prison. If I were jailed again, it would be the eleventh time. I told God that I had enough of jail. I was terrified my body couldn't take it anymore. I heard a heartbreaking cry. It was from Christ Himself. He cried out, "Father, why hath You forsaken me?" I heard His words so clearly. They flew from the cross directly into my head, and all at once I understood why Jesus wept. There and then, I felt strong again. I realized that the Lord had not abandoned me. He wanted me to experience the cross. Jesus told us, "If anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me." I don't have any hard feelings for what I went through. This is the same path our Lord Jesus walked down. Since the very first day I became a missionary, I knew this path was the path of cross. I was more than willing to take it, no matter what I have suffered. I have never blamed God. I made the decision to follow God. God found me and loved me. What I went through was all from God, and I am filled with joy. The government's persecution is no big deal. It's just a way of showing me God's blessing. That's all. Religion and politics must be separate. Because they believe in this principle, many Chinese Christians refuse to attend the government-controlled Three Self Church. Their house churches and missionary work are considered illegal by the government. Local government officials can arrest and fine them under national laws that regulate religion. Therefore, meeting and preaching in secret have become the only way Chinese Christians can survive. However, the degree of suppression varies in China. Churches in Wenzhou were the first to revive after the Cultural Revolution, but most of the church buildings are destroyed now.
churches in Hunan were revived later, but there are more martyrs and jailed Christians there than anywhere else. Although Chinese Christians do not oppose the government, they are considered illegal because they will not renounce their faith. They live righteously and faithfully under tyrannical rule. The Chinese authorities are completely mystified by the increasing number of house churches. <laughs> They don't understand. They have no idea what we have been doing. So they call us anti-revolutionary. In fact, I think they know in their hearts that we're not anti-revolutionary. We think that the reason the government tries so hard to suppress us is because they don't understand what Christianity is about. It's a misunderstanding. We don't hate the government. The only wish we have is for everyone on earth to feel God's love, to receive God's love. Through all our hardships, God is training, preparing, and building His church in China. It is a blessing for the Chinese church. We are praying for our leaders in China, and also for those who suppress us. We wish them well. We've been telling our brothers and sisters that we should show respect to every member and branch of the government. It's God's commandment to respect authorities. In China, however, Christians are not understood in this way. The wars in Chinese history, such as the Taiping Rebellion, and the Opium War damaged people's trust. The government suppressed us because they are afraid that they don't understand our true belief. Therefore, as Christians in this country, I think we should pray for our country's leaders and for everyone in authority. Lord, we are willing to risk our lives in order to save our beloved country of China. Lord, we ask you to bless our beloved country. Please bless this country with your hands. Please bless this nation with your hands. You have shed your blood for the Chinese people. We thank you for bringing us your gospel and salvation in these last times. We thank you for opening the door to your gospel in China. <laughs> Your love has come to us. It has come to the land of China. You have loved our country and people since the beginning of time. Many people in China deny you. They don't recognize you. They worship all kinds of idols. Lord, today we repent for our country. Lord, please withhold your anger. <laughs> A person whose heart loves God also loves his country and his fellow human beings. A person who is willing to carry the cross is full of mercy. Such people may be badly mistreated, but they still feel sweet with love. They may be imprisoned, but their hearts are free. They may be despised, but are full of gratitude. <laughs> God's Spirit and His mighty power have been with me over the years. To tell you the truth, I did go through a little suffering for Him. I was homeless at one time. Since I started following Him, I've gained so much. Despite all the hardships, God's path is still very sweet to me.